Hi, I'm Janelle Nanos, business reporter with the Boston Globe, and this is Bold Types, conversations with Boston's business leaders. Today, we're talking with Christophe Chant, the co-founder and CEO of Tender Food, a plant-based meat company in Somerville. Christoph, thank you so much for having us here today to learn a little bit more about Tender Food and what you've got going on here in Greentown Labs. Talk to me a little bit about what is Tender Food exactly. We're all turn meat company. We're a food technology company. Uh, and our goal is to really create superior quality uh, in ultra meats. Today, you know, you have burgers, sausages, chicken nuggets. But if you look at the global meat market, you know, more than half of it is real cuts of meat. It's a steak, uh, it's a chicken breast, it's a pork chop. And that's what we're going after is really that, you know, okay. next level of quality of texture uh, that's been lacking in ultra meats today. So, you know, your company name is Tender Food. Talk to me about why that's an important piece of relaying that message, the idea to the customer. Like, this is not just some, you know, sausage or beef patty, but there's a tenderness there that is a little bit different than what you've already encountered from the plant-based space. So, you know, there's the tenderness from, you know, like the human perspective of, you know, of trying to, you know, uh, be more thoughtful about, you know, what we're doing on this planet. Um, and then also, yeah, there's the more kind of, you know, the meat attribute. Uh, and I think, yeah, we, we went through a lot of different names and I think we kind of, uh, we landed on tender because I think we realized it's, it's one of these really important attributes. If you think of, a, you know, a prime cut of meat like a filet mignon, well, you know, one of the first descriptors is, uh, it's, you know, it's the most tender piece of meat. So how did this get started? I know you moved to Boston, you said almost nine years ago. Um, you thought it was gonna be for just a few months for some graduate work. You've been here almost a decade. Tell me how this whole tender food project started. I was applying for master's thesis work uh, kind of all around the world uh, and got in touch with a professor at Harvard, Kit Parker. Um, and uh, he offered me to do some work on uh, this idea of making meat without the animal. Uh, and I was really intrigued by that and then discovered, you know, the whole the huge impact that animal agriculture has uh, on climate, you know, on our planet generally. Uh, and so I was really excited by the idea of, of joining the lab. And that's where I met my other co-founders, uh, Luke uh, and Grant. And we've been pretty much working together ever since, since 2013, yeah. How did you know you were ready to take it from the lab into Greentown Labs here and do it as a startup? We had a great team. We had really interesting technologies and, and, you know, we had a big problem that we thought we could solve. What are some of the factors that you're thinking about trying to fix when it comes to creating a plant-based meat versus the meat that we've been eating now for eons? We don't often realize this, but meat is, you know, one of the most destructive industries on this planet. You know, animal agriculture is, is roughly 14, 14 or 15% of all greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. It's, you know, 80% of deforestation. It's 80% of all uh, agricultural land used on this planet is for, for meat. I think for us and for the consumers, you know, people want products that are just more sustainable. Um, and so that's what we're doing, whether it's, you know, with plants, uh, you know, with mushrooms or cells, really the idea is, you know, can we make a product that is, you know, a lot more ethical in terms of how it's produced? Uh, and then ideal is also even, you know, healthier and so on. Yeah. So after leaving Harvard, you started out in this space that we're in now, which is Greentown Labs here in Somerville. How did that community here, which is mostly green, clean tech, help you build from what you were started with in you know, 2020 to where you are now? I think Greentown is uh, the biggest incubator for climate in the country. Joined them, yeah, end of 2020. Uh, we probably stayed around nine months in like the, the main kind of building and then moved out into like a, a space that's still theirs, but like a private one, uh, just because we're making food and most of the other companies, you know, are, you know, making batteries, solar panels and other things that maybe we don't want to be next to. Uh, and so we got our private space so that we could do, uh, continue doing R&D and product development there. Yeah. I'd love to know more about how it is produced. You are making a different type of plant-based meat than what already exists. Mm -hmm. how, how does that work exactly? And what's the process by which you actually create it? We're just taking plant ingredients, soy protein, pea protein, you know, that you can find in some of the uh, uh, alternative meat products that you have today or in a lot of other food products, really. Um, and then we're gonna, you know, process them into the structure that we want. And so in our case, you know, we really want to create that muscle fiber structure that you have in a piece of meat. And so we're gonna uh, take that, you know, 
it kind of looks like a protein shake, honestly, and then we're gonna uh, spin it into, uh, into a fiber. And so then assemble that into a full product. Um, yeah, and then we can, you know, add some flavor, some, you know, some fat to it uh, to create kind of the full sensory experience. Welcome to our offices uh, at Tender. Uh, and this is one of my co-founders, Luke McQueen. Hey. Thanks so much for having us come in. It's wonderful to have you. Thanks. Um, so we've been talking a lot about this, you know, plant-based meat, but now we're actually kind of trying to get our heads around it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Can you talk us through a little bit more of the process? Here we've got a selection of ingredients. These are beans and rice and oats. Uh, they're plant-based protein. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're great to eat as their own, but sometimes people really like meat too. Mm. They like the chew, they like the tear of it, mm -hmm. and the succulents. Mm -hmm. So we can turn these ingredients into meats, essentially, with all the proteins and nutrients that were in these plants to begin with. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a type of technology that's a lot like a cotton candy machine okay. that people may have seen before. Uh, and there, in a cotton candy machine, you turn sugar into fibers. And here we turn proteins into fibers. There they are. All the fibers, it's high magnification. It's pretty incredible. And there's the original one and the vermicelli. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is, and this is, so this is the vermicelli. Yeah. That's, that's the, pulled pork. That's pulled pork. That's the new sample of ours that I just put down. Wow. Yeah, it's hard to tell the difference. Who is your customer? Do you find that your customer is a person who is a vegan, vegetarian, someone who has cut meat out of their diet entirely and looking for that experience? Or are you working with the flexitarian, the person that wants to maybe reduce the amount of consumption that they have on a regular basis of meat, but you know, isn't necessarily going all the way at, to you know, exclude it from their diet entirely? I'd say you know, flexitarians are a much larger piece of the population, and so you know, all the people that you know, are interested in reducing their meat consumption because of climate, because of the you know, uh, uh, inhumane conditions that you know, animals are grown in, uh, all these different things you know, are, are things that, that motivate people and that yeah, we're, we're trying to go after. Long term, you know, uh, the goal is really to you know, sell this to everyone. Uh, and you know, if we can create a product that is just you know, better, uh, that's you know delicious. That's cheaper. That's healthier. I mean, why not? You know, why would people you know eat anything else? So thank you for having us in the kitchen. It's my pleasure. Tell me a little bit more about yourself and the restaurant. My name is Chin. Um, I'm one of the co-owners and the chef here at South at Bow Market, and then I also South in downtown Boston. Um, this location is all vegetarian and um, we work with a lot of different kind of plant-based meats. We've had the pleasure to work with Tender and they're just down the street in Greentown Labs. Uh, we kind of connected through just the general email here at Bow Market. Mm -hmm. It's a great community and um, they have like an awesome product that is as close to, in my opinion, the best plant-based pulled pork product there is available and it's only available to us. So what's the feedback then from your customers knowing that they're the first people to try the product? It's honestly been very overwhelmingly positive. I mean, just been fortunate that they've been into it, but it's been a lot of kind of like trial and error and testing. And um, I think we have like a really nice combination of flavors. You are. All right. Thank you so much. This You're is welcome. amazing. Thank you. All right. Cool. Okay. Should we try it? Yeah, go okay, for it. Okay, let's see. Mmm, wow. You would never know. You would never know? Yeah. I mean, it's great. It has the same texture. Um, a lot of the same mouthfeel. So you've been working with Chin at Sauce now for about a year. Um, the launch, it's been in the public mm -hmm. for about three and a half months. Tell me about that. Having your product actually, you know, in people's hands, in people's yeah. mouths and bellies. I mean, that's a huge deal after almost nine years of research. We started the company end of 2020. And I think if you'd asked anyone, are we going to be selling a product, you know, in less than two years, I think no one, no one believed it and no one would have believed us either. It was a huge milestone, I think, for the entire team is like, we're, we're actually making, you know, a product that people, uh, that people can, can now eat and, and enjoy, which is really fun, yeah. Can you help envision what, you know, the company's next few years is gonna look like? You know, 
take me three years, five years, yeah. 10 years. Yeah. Our goal is to you know, help transform this industry you know, by creating just delicious product. Um, and so that could materialize in a couple of different ways. You know, like we could, you know, go the consumer route and, you know, really kind of continue to build our brand like an impossible or beyond. And, you know, uh, we'll have our, our products in, in, you know, supermarket shelves. Um, but we could also be, you know, the, you know, the enabler for the industry. We are a technology company at heart. I think 80% of our team right now are scientists, engineers. We intend to continue to build that, and so you know we could be that technology enabler. Do you think that this is going to be the type of product that is going to help facilitate some of those people who are on the fence or not quite ready to commit to going more plant-based to make that change? I mean, yeah, that's the goal. You know, it, it has to be obvious. It has to be just so simple uh, to make that transition. Otherwise, yeah, it doesn't work for, for most people. And so that's what we're doing is, is make that, you know, that choice just so simple to make.